Hello everybody, it's Drew from Langlois Vital Nutrition Center here with you. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you share this video with somebody you care about, because the info I'm about to give you applies to pretty much everybody. Deceptively simple board here, right? Just three M's. But I want to talk to you about my three M's, and I actually have three T's for my three M's, and you're already confused. Let me just cut to the chase, okay? My three M's are the way that I stay well. A lot of my clients come in here and they say, Drew, I don't see you taking sick days. Drew, you always seem to be in a pretty good mood. Drew, why are you always with it? You seem mentally sharp all the time. It's because my three M's. So let me explain to you. My first M is meditation. There's a lot of ways to meditate. I don't think there's a wrong way to meditate. I personally have never been one of those people that can get super zen when I'm meditating. I don't feel like I'm about to levitate off the floor. I don't feel my chakras opening up. And I certainly am not ascending to nirvana. Okay? But what I am doing is just counting my breaths. I will sit, stand, or lay. The position really doesn't matter. And I'll just count how many times I breathe. My goal in a meditation session is to breathe in and out 30 times. It takes a couple of minutes. I like to do it a couple of times a day if I can. I also like to do it after a stressful event. And if I'm really lucky and I see that event coming and I know it's going to be stressful, I'll do this breath counting before the event. Try it out. Uh, 30 is actually a surprisingly big number to get to when it comes to counting your breaths when all you're doing is breathing. But try it. Next one is movement. Oh man, without movement I do not feel right. Some days this is in the form of exercise. If you've seen my video on exercise versus activity, you know that exercise is when you're focused on things like goal setting and achieving certain things. When you're dedicating that time to just feeling your body work. That's exercise. But when it comes to movement, exercise or activity, they both count. So for me, it's not exercise to walk my dog, because it's not a long walk, it's not intense. It's very easy to do. But walking my dog is absolutely activity. So every day, I make sure that I get exercise or activity, because that gives me my second M, which is movement. My third M, you're like, Drew, I thought you were a nutritionist. Don't worry, that's what the third M is for. That would be mindful eating. There's two parts to this, okay? Mindful eating is what I'm about to eat, right? What does my plate look like? What's on my plate? Is that stuff that's actually going to help me? Or am I doing it just because I don't feel good and I can control what I eat and changing what I eat is going to help me feel better, make me feel like I'm in control, okay? So what's on my plate is the first part. But then the second part is an intentional misspelling of this word where I make sure that my mind is not full when I'm eating. Every day that I'm in my car, I drive by people eating in their car while they're driving. That's a high stress situation. I don't recommend eating during that. I see people not even sit down during supper time to shuffle the food in because they got the next thing to go on to do. That's a stressful situation to eat in. What I'm encouraging people to do and what I like to do is not have my mind full of things while I'm eating. You can ask the staff here, when I take lunch breaks, I eat by myself. No, I'm not antisocial. Yes, I'm an extrovert. But when I'm eating, I need to chill out. I need to totally relax and make sure that my mind is not full while I'm eating. So, a lot of you have asked, Drew, how do you stay well? How do you always seem to be in a pretty good mood? How do you stay on point? So my three M's. I meditate by counting my breath work. I move every day, whether it's exercise or activity, and I practice mindful eating 
regarding what it is I eat and making sure my mind isn't full while I'm eating it. Thank you for watching this video. How do you stay well? And if you don't stay well and you've been looking for a way to stay well, tell me which of these you're going to try. Have a good day.